Hi, I'm Adam Fields, and thanks for joining me today for this presentation of one of the world's largest suppliers in the automotive industry. Denso. You might have heard about this Japanese global Fortune 500 company offering advanced mobility solutions, but how much more do you know? Today we're going to take you on a small journey of discovery, or perhaps rediscovery. Are you ready? Then let's go! So today we're in Vaisp in the Netherlands, which hosts Denso's European headquarters. But did you know that Denso has research, production and sales offices throughout the world? About 200 locations in fact, with 168,000 employees spread across 35 countries and regions. All these diverse perspectives and opinions enable Denso to deliver global and regional solutions. As a mega supplier, Denso has the ability and influence to help find solutions for society's greatest needs. But what does that mean in concrete terms? Well, globally, Denso is focused on sustainability projects where it can make a significant impact, such as the prevention of global warming, the prevention of air pollution, the reduction of substances with negative environmental impact, and the preservation of resources, including the conservation of water resources. Denso is, for example, looking at ways its manufacturing operations, which inevitably generate CO2 emissions, could convert the CO2 back into an energy resource transforming emissions from a problem into an asset. Another commitment of Denso is to create a safer world by using its technologies to help reduce traffic accidents, enable free and comfortable transportation, develop safe and secure products, and respond to the declining birth rate and aging population, the so-called peace of mind strategy. So, now that you know a little bit about Denso, let me introduce you to its European aftermarket and industrial solutions business unit. The aftermarket department basically brings OE quality Denso automotive parts programs to wholesalers, distributors and garages across Europe. Let's meet Alexei Bartashevich who will tell us a little bit more about Denso's parts programs. Hello Alexei. Hello Adam. Uh, so what actually differentiates uh, Denso from other manufacturers? Denso sells OE quality product in the aftermarket, which means uh, our parts are backed by uh, Denso Global OEM heritage. Our product features many Denso world first innovations from decades of dedicated R&D and advanced technologies innovations. Right, and what kind of product range are we talking about here? Our range is constantly growing. Uh, we have uh, six main product families, uh, such as uh, rotating electric, diesel, auto uh, sensors and uh, engine management systems, ignition, wiper blades and filters, as well as a wide range of uh, thermal system products. Uh, next to uh, the current range, uh, Denso is actively developing new products for hybrid and electric cars. Ah. Uh, these products are mostly being supplied to OE, and as soon as possible, they will gradually appear in the aftermarket. Uh, also, this autumn, we are launching exclusively uh, a new brand. Mm. Please, tell me more about it. Brand is PowerEdge, uh, is going to be distributed by Denso, uh, specifically developed to uh, deliver uh, competitively priced products. Uh, right now, uh, the product is already available in America, and this autumn, we are presenting it to our European aftermarket customers. Very interesting. Thank you, Alexei. Thank you. Please go to Denso's profile if you'd like to know more about the aftermarket products. Check it out. Now recently, Denso developed a tool called eViolence. Let's meet one of the creators of this product. Hey, good afternoon. Hi, Gerard. So, uh, eViolence or, or evidence, which one is it? Eviolence. Uh, officially? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, what is it? What does it do? Well, eViolence is actually a vehicle inspection tool. Mm -hmm. So what we do, we, we assess the technical state of a vehicle mm -hmm. and we specifically focus on the health of the engine. Okay. Uh, uh, who's it for? Who should use it? So basically we, we're looking for workshops who wants to do a little bit more for whom customers come first. That's the focus for us. 
Okay, so I, I, as a driver, I get a report showing the sort of health status of my car and gives me some recommendations about what might need attention, that sort of thing? Yes, so, so basically we, we get two reports, a mechanic report with much more technical details mm -hmm. than the customer reports, but the customer report specifically is very easy to understand. E even I can understand that? Everybody can understand. Oh, okay, that's good. Yes. So, and, and the good thing with our tool is that we can find um, potential issues coming up. Ah. So customers are much more aware and, and better informed to make the right decision about shall I repair now or will I do it later. That sounds great. Thanks very much, Gerard. You're welcome. So now we know a bit more about Denso's aftermarket operations, but this business unit also branches out into other industries, uh, robotics, bus AC, uh, life and energy refrigeration systems are all examples of the company creating synergies with their expertise to transpose these automotive skills onto other businesses. Now let's talk about the future and Denso's vision of it. It's a time of great change in the automotive industry. Denso is pushing past the boundaries of what's possible to create future-proof technologies. Denso's vision of future mobility is exciting, with technology being developed in the field of mass, electrification, and even quantum computing. Denso has been active in this area for some time with its development of advanced driver assistance systems that give cars greater vision to detect and prevent collisions. As part of their peace of mind strategy, Denso is striving to take ADAS to new levels. This means pioneering entirely new technologies, such as sensors that cover the entire circumference of a vehicle. It also means making the technology more affordable and making it accessible to motorists and to the aftermarket as a retrofit option. Another example of their vision is their plan to utilise their expertise in filters and sensors to improve the air we breathe. Denso has extensive experience creating a comfortable atmosphere inside vehicles, so why not transpose this technology to all public spaces and offer ways to monitor the air and automatically capture particulates and viruses? Sounds good, right? Last but not least, let's talk about racing. You surely know about Denso's partnership with Toyota Gazoo Racing in the FIA World Endurance Championship. But did you know that this season's car, the GR010 Hybrid, is fitted with Denso spark plugs and an inverter co-developed with ASIN? The team has been crowned world champion for the past two years and is currently in the lead this season. I can imagine how thrilling it must be to drive this beast of a car. Let's hear from one of the team's drivers, Mike Conway. Hi, I'm Mike Conway, racing for Toyota Gazoo Racing in the number seven car. This year's car is a different experience compared to the last year's. And um, I think the nature of the car, they really come alive when we're at this track. I'd say the favorite podium has to be Le Mans because you know, you get the sea of people, just a huge amount of fans and teams all underneath the podium. It's always a big one that we're, we're thinking about from the start of the year. And um, yeah, I think there's been a lot of preparation to get ready for this one. And uh, for the rest of the season, you know, we want to win the championship. So we got to try and do both. Um, double points at Le Mans, it counts for a lot. Okay, it's time for me to say goodbye, but thank you for joining me today on this Denso journey. Please go to the Denso profile for more information and to get in touch with a Denso representative. <laughs>